Well, here we are back at uh, Tall Pine Cabin. It's September 21st. You can see the plants are getting a little bit drier, ready for ready for fall to start in. And we're going to start working on putting some uh, weight on those pilings that we put in earlier. So let's see what they look like. They're ready to uh, hold some weight now. So here's our first one. There we go. And let's see what's next. Here's another one of the piers. And uh, let's take a peek at it. First thing is to uh, pull away some of the cardboard around the outside edge. We'll see what it looks like. Then we'll uh, set up the bracket. I'll show you how that goes in a minute. First thing I, thing I did was make a cut with my handy dandy utility knife just to get started. And then let's see if this pulls off. Yeah, it looks like it might be trickier than I thought. I'll get back to you when I get it done. Well, it's going now. Just peel that off and we'll see what it looks like underneath. Well, I got the top part peeled off and there's what it looks like. Next, let's put on the bracket. So first things first, I took the nut off of there and then I'm going to put on this uh, stand-up bracket which keeps the post a little bit away from the cement so you get less rot. It's got a little adjustability to it. And uh, next comes on the washer, then the nut, and then I tighten it down with socket, and uh, but before that I better make sure it's in the right spot. So let me get the plumb bob out. I think that takes two hands, so I'm going to set down the camera. And there we go, all bolted in place. Should work out just fine. Okay, so temporarily I've got some extra supports in and those piers that uh, we poured a couple months ago are finally holding weight. I uh, still have yet to attach those and again, those are temporary. I want to change from 4x4s to 4x6s, but there will be some other measurements I need to do. And when I uh, uh, leveled those posts, I realized how the uh, cement blocks, as you can probably see, aren't quite as uh, level as I thought they were. Anyways, all moving along, moving forward. Pretty soon I'm going to be uh, doing a whole bunch of digging and I need to find a place for the soil. I realize that when you look closely at the driveway, well, parking area, uh, <laughs> that it's quite sloped. So I found a spot to put a lot, if not most, of that uh, dirt. I'll show you again in a little bit after I've uh, filled it in. Part of uh, September's project required a lot of digging around Tall Pine Cabin and that excavation was able to bring 25 wheelbarrow loads of dirt up to the parking area to help level it out, widen it just a little bit. There it is. September's work is done for the year and mostly what happened that tall pine cabin is some more foundation work, although it doesn't show that much. <laughs> uh, there are some piles of dirt that I've moved. Um, you'll see that there is some enhanced mitigation for any water that may flow into 
or below uh, two tall pine cabin. Don't want to interfere with the blocks that are currently there. So we did some ditch digging and things that allow the water to um, flow through or around without disturbing these foundation blocks. We also took advantage of those pier blocks that we poured a couple months ago that are now able to hold weight by, well, putting weight on them. There's one of them on the side here. That'd be the east side. And as we go around to the front, you can see there's another pier that we're was able to hold weight. A new pier was uh, dug and filled with cement. It was ready to go right in the middle of the front of the cabin. And here's another one of the pier blocks that has uh, is, is now holding weight. There's another view from the front of Tall Pine Cabin showing the piers in place, holding weight. Uh, those 4x4s are temporary until we get the final leveling. And I'll put some 6x6s in there uh, to hold the cabin up and keep it tall. Meanwhile, here's that fantastic view from Tall Pine Cabin at Davis Lake.